The purpose of today's tutorial is to show you the multiple axes configuration of the PCL501. Here we have our PCL501s which are daisy chained together with a two wire configuration. The PCL501s need to be manually set with unique addresses. To do this, remove the backplate from the units and set jumpers JP4 through 8 accordingly. These four PCL501s are address 0 through 3. These are our motor drivers which receive a pulse train and direction signal from our PCL501s. Lastly, we have our motors, which are our test subjects. So we will now power on our system and make a connection using TerraTerm. TerraTerm is like a hyperterminal for Windows 7, and we use it to communicate with multiple PCL501s at once. Yes, we can use the Anaheim Automation software, SMC50Win, but I would like to introduce you to the controller's instruction set. Our objective will be to slew all motors. Let's check to see which COM port the RS45 converter is using through the device manager in Windows 7. Let's go ahead and open up TerraTerm. Let's go to setup, serial port, and verify that our baud rate is set to 9600 BPS. Let's change the terminal settings to have both a carriage return and a line feed when receiving. Now that our connection has been established and our terminal settings are set, let's make these motors rotate. The first character is an at symbol, which we call the start byte. This tells the processor to start listening for relevant data. The second character is the address of the PCL501 you wish to communicate with. I'll be using the pound symbol instead of an address because the pound symbol addresses all the PCL501s on the RS-45 network. The next character is the command character. Each character performs a unique function. The slew command requires no extra parameters, but some commands do. So once we hit enter, our motors will begin slewing at the set max speed. Thank you for tuning in. If you have any other questions regarding the PCL501 or its instruction set, please feel free to visit www.anaheimautomation.com.